In the vast tapestry of life, each individual thread weaves its unique path. One such thread is Bruce, a man whose life journey has been as colorful as it has been challenging. Born to serve the public, Bruce dedicated 27 years of his life to public service. As he approached his 50s, he decided to intertwine his love for golf with his passion for horticulture, birthing a gardening business. Though he never fulfilled his dream to become a groundsman on a golf course, his venture thrived for many years. Now, at the age of 71 and looking forward to celebrating half a century of marital bliss, Bruce stands tall, a testament to resilience and determination. However, like the most captivating stories, Bruce's journey was not without its trials. At the age of 57, he found himself grappling with a condition that many men shy away from discussing, erectile dysfunction. The silent struggle had been ongoing for years, with Bruce experiencing less than ideal erections and premature ejaculation. This played havoc not only with his confidence but also his relationship, as his wife began to feel unattractive and unwanted. But the problem wasn't her, not at all. Bruce sought help, turning to his doctor and the grapevine whispers about a little blue pill known as Viagra. His doctor was quick to link Bruce's condition to his 37-year-old smoking habit, a connection Bruce had been oblivious to. The revelation served as a wake-up call, prompting him to quit smoking within a week with the help of a medication called Ziban. At the same time, he started his journey with Viagra, later branching out to other erectile dysfunction medications like Cialis and Levitra. For a while they served him well until they didn't. His next step led him to a urologist, who introduced him to intracavernosal injections. A simple procedure involving the injection of a compound drug into the base of the penis before intercourse. Bruce has been using this method successfully for three years now, with no side effects. Bruce's journey is not unique, but his willingness to openly share his experience is. He stands as a beacon of hope for men grappling with similar issues, a testament to the power of seeking help and taking action. So, to the men out there facing similar issues, Bruce's message is clear. Don't suffer in silence. Erectile dysfunction is a common issue and there is help available. Talk to your doctor, explore your options, and remember, it's your health and your life on the line. You owe it to yourself to take charge and seek the help you need.